Hello everyone, today I'm talking about filters, and it's the moment you've all been waiting for. My review on the Cine Bloom filters by Moment, and the Black Pro Mist filters by Tiffin. So let's talk about the differences between these filters. There were a lot of videos that came out about how similar the Black Pro Mist filters were to the Cine Blooms, but I think that information is false. So here's why. The Cine Bloom filters do what they say. Uh, they bloom the highlights, they soften skin tones, and there's only two types of diffusion, 10% and 20%. They also pretty much raise the shadows. The Black Pro Mist filter crushes the blacks and raises the shadows, and it gives more of a gray look across the image, which I think looks cleaner on video. So the biggest difference is the price point. Yes, the Cine Bloom filters are more affordable, uh, especially if you're a videographer, but there are several different increments of the Tiffin filters that you can buy, and obviously the, they get more expensive. And I purchased uh, the 82 millimeter filter for my camera, and when I looked at the Black Pro Mist filter, there I was trying to get the 4x4 and that was $400 more than the 82 millimeter. So I stuck with the 82 millimeter because I thought, why am I gonna spend $400 more on a piece of glass? Uh, it just doesn't make sense. Uh, I think the other big difference is the case. The, the cases for these filters are different. I personally like the Cine Bloom cases. When you open them, they have this foam padding on both sides. Uh, it's a little bit more sturdy. It, it just feels like it's more secure. Yes, the Cine Bloom cases are a bit heavier than the Tiffin cases, but uh, I like the double foam padding. Moving on to the casings for the Cine Bloom, sorry, moving on to the casings with the Pro Mist filters. I love the Cine Bloom so much, that's why I mentioned it. Uh, I think these filters are very lightweight, and that's weird. It's like a hole. Yeah, look at that, a piece of the plastic broke off, if you can see that in the case. So, I think, <laughs> there you go right there, uh, the Cine Bloom cases are better. Uh, yeah, I, I think the Tiffin filter casings are very cheap. I mean, I can see why they're desirable, because they're lightweight. And the only redeeming part about the Tiffin casings is it says 10-year warranty on it, so... That makes you feel a little bit better. So overall, I think these filters give a different effect, but if you're on a budget, the Cine Bloom is the way to go. Now I purchased the 10% and 20%. Overall, I think the 10% is so much better. The 20% is just way too much. Way too much vintage film look. I felt like looking back at my footage, uh, there were images and shots that were overexposed because the 20% was way too intense. So if I were to buy these filters again, I definitely think the Pro Mist filter is great. Uh, I think I'd buy just the 10%. I don't think I'd buy, I don't think I'd buy the 20%. <laughs> so that is my review on the filters. If you want to see videos on the Cine Blooms, if you want to see videos on the Black Pro Mist filters, I will put those videos in the links below. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're interested in hearing me do more interviews with new gear, let me know.